Hey guys, Scott here with my first impressions on Dracula and Dead by Daylight. Overall, I'd say he's a pretty cool killer. He's well designed. There's just a couple of things about him that I feel like are a little underwhelming at the moment, but for the most part, I enjoyed playing him. I only got to play him for like three or four hours because I had to do a uh, Twitch Rivals Elden Ring tournament thing, which I'm also doing again today. But um, from what I did play, I actually really enjoyed it a lot. Now, a lot of people have been making comparisons to three separate killers. Uh, we have like Pyramid Head, um, I, I'd say it's more like Nemesis and, uh, Spirit, and then kind of like Wesker. And it's a weaker form of all three of these, which would make sense, because obviously if you have one of those factors being as strong as one of those others, then why would you play any of those other killers? So it needs to be weaker. Um, but it's at the point where some of these things that Dracula can do are kind of like almost useless so l let me go over the main problem i have first it's the wolf form dracula can turn into a wolf in this wolf form he slows down for some reason i don't it doesn't make any sense he seems to move to at like 110 i think and there's these little scent orbs that you can run around when survivors are running around they leave scent orbs you run into them you get haste to i assume what makes you a normal movement speed killer for a, a couple of seconds but you are in third person, which is nice, but you just are painfully slow. Now, you are short, too, which is cool, because you can uh, kind of hide under loops kind of like Chucky can, but at the same time, you can't really moonwalk because the wolf has a specific slow backwards motion to where moonwalking is painfully slow. So you can't really do that for mind games either. So the wolf is slow, not very much mind game potential, and even the lunge that he does have is very underwhelming, in my opinion. If it hits a wall or a blade of grass in the wrong way, it stops it. Normally, you can use this lunge, and then you'll lunge again after a pretty set amount of time, but you can't control the delay between these things. You can't hold the ability. It's not like Demogorgon, where you can zone for it for free. Um, it's just sort of like a worse version of all of these things, like Demo's um, lunge and Wesker's charge and things like that. And I really was not able to make it very effective at all. There's a couple of scenarios when you have guaranteed straightaways, like around Shaq. Sometimes you can use it to get a hit, and that's nice. But for the most part, I found the wolf form to be pretty underwhelming overall. And in fact, I was better off just never even bothering it at all. So uh, that's underwhelming. And I do know this is a PTB, so I have no doubt they will buff that. Again, it makes no sense that he moves slower in the wolf form. Why would that be the case? I don't understand that at all. Um, but the bat form is really nice for map traversal. It's sort of like a spirit gimmick where you can't see survivors, but you can see their scratch marks. And you're not supposed to use this like mid chase. What I would do is get a hit, go bat form. I would yell bat like it's uh, what we do in the shadows. And then I would just, you know, follow the scratches. And when I heard them again, I would go back into vampire form. So it's great for making up short bursts of distances. And you can even use this little teleport feature where you uh, look at a vault or a dropped pallet and you can teleport directly to that. And I actually really enjoyed the add-ons that extend the speed and range of that because it really makes you able to go pretty far, pretty damn fast. And the transition speed between that and vampire mode feels so smooth and quick. So I feel like that's sort of the intended gameplay. You fly in as a bat, immediately turn back into a vampire, shoot up some fire, and um, you're looking pretty good. Now, the fire ability that you're seeing on the screen here, I have found to be wildly inconsistent in terms of what it can and cannot shoot over. There were, like, knee-high walls it would just immediately stop at, and then sometimes I could shoot over rocks that I couldn't even see over. I have no idea how exactly this mechanic works. It seems very inconsistent, or rather, it's consistent based on the jank hitboxes of certain things. So, eventually, over a couple of weeks... I think it's possible to learn how it works on each individual piece of shit on the map. But right now, it's super weird, and it's very unclear what you can and cannot shoot over. But it does feel sort of like Nemesis' tentacle in what you can hit over. It just comes out uh, a lot faster, but um, it takes much longer to actually charge. So that is the kind of downside to it. it. It has a lot of range on it, too, um, but it has no... I think it has one add-on to modify the range a bit but it's the charging time of it is fairly slow. So it's not quite as quick as Nemesis's uh, whip. I think I said it was quicker. Um, I didn't mean to say that. It's not quite as, as quick as that, but it still roughly has the same type of effect. So it's definitely weaker, but again, you need these powers to be weaker because he has three of them. So it, it would make no sense. So overall, I think really all he needs is the wolf form looked at. The wolf form is just, it's just, uh, I, I don't know what the point of the wolf form is. And I think once we address the wolf form thing, then he'll actually be pretty good. 
If I had to have one complaint about him, though, I would say he's not terribly unique in terms of gameplay, really. He doesn't really do anything that another killer can't do, and I guess that's just because it's a very simple game, and we have too many killers now to the point where we're just running out of shit we can possibly do, but he truly is. I know everyone always says the same, same comment, oh, the new killer is blank plus blank plus blank, but he really does feel like just spirit and like Wesker and like Nemesis. He he really does just feel like worse versions of all three of those, but with the, uh, you know, the uh, flexible nature of being able to do any of those things. So that is the draw to it. I I, I don't know. I, I Honestly, like in terms of aesthetics and stuff, he's awesome, but gameplay, he actually offers pretty much nothing we haven't seen before. So not particularly amazing. I'm not sure if I would choose him as a main when I can just really hone in on one of these powers that function better on a separate killer and just use that. And I wasn't even using the wolf form. So um, in that regard, unless they heavily buff the wolf form, I can't see much of a reason to play him over the other killers that have similar powers. But if they do both uh, buff the wolf form, then I think we could have something good on our hands. So overall, not the most creative thing they've ever done, but a pretty safe, solid option. Seems like kind of mid B tier right now. If they actually buff the wolf, then I think he'll probably jump up into A tier. Um, otherwise, he'll be sort of an average killer. Those are just my first thoughts. Like I said, I only have like four hours on him. I didn't get a huge chance to play him yet, so I'm going to play him more today, give him uh, more of a chance, and see what we can do. But that's going to be it for my first impressions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.